If you found out that your son or daughter or someone that you knew was going to go out and commit murder, what would you do? The message within the qualification is how radicalisation comes about and if it helps with one atrocity, it's worth it. Each individual is fully entitled to their own views. The issue is when those views start to harbour resentment that can possibly escalate into extreme behaviours. We've just had a major event in Europe in the last week, a terrorist attack. Lives were just snuffed out because somebody influenced a young, vulnerable mind. Anyone that's communicated and seen the communication within the groups would definitely identify a radicalisation process has taken place. It's about putting a strategy in place to de-radicalise people or to stop the process of them being radicalised in the first place. Safeguarding is about protecting the safety and well-being of children and young adults. Prevent policy is part of a much wider safeguarding responsibility. This particular part of the strategy is about raising awareness of how radicalisation comes about. It's really important that the community understands how children and adults are radicalised and go through that process. It's actually nuanced, very nuanced. How can you tell if a youth club leader is trying to radicalise a young person? How can you actually detect that as radicalisation? And if if you do detect it, what do you do? This training is relevant to the full spectrum of society. It is something that we believe should be undertaken in the form of a qualification. For us that is critical. The reason for a qualification is you don't just go and see a film, you don't just go on a course, you have to prove your competency. We have brought together some very top-end talent from many different sectors. Being introduced to BritKit has been the biggest opportunity I've had in many years and I am very excited about it. BritKit is a platform for crisis management and disaster recovery education. We've got this fantastic partnership going at the moment with Procore, the awarding body, who have been qualified by Ofcor to develop a training module that enables people to understand the government's prevent and safeguarding strategy. It's the first time that the movie industry has worked in conjunction with an awarding organisation on a particular qualification. This is giving us an opportunity to bring the best of our skills in filmmaking and blend them, meld them with a slightly more clinical, educative, accessible learning output that Procore's developed. It can engage them with characters that we use in films and that gives us the opportunity to actually embed the learning much quicker and much deeper. It's a very fluid, fast, efficient way for users to learn material and has a very deep emotional context. People really retain that. We've identified the learning outcomes and what we're trying to tackle. There is nothing better than film impact, both for retention of knowledge and to keep somebody's attention. BrickKit has proved that if you make good quality films and mix that with good quality expertise and real life experience, that training becomes second to none. We knew from the start that prevent was going to be the most difficult part of the strategy to implement. But if we get it right, it's the most important because we can actually prevent people from becoming terrorists.